So in this video, we're going to simplify these thirds. And the first thing we need to do is think about a square number that divides into 20, in this case. So that would be 4. 4 goes into 25 times. So I can write the square root of 20 as the square root of 4 times 5. Then we can split the third. So we can write that as the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. The square root of 4 is 2, so we can write this as 2 root 5. The second one we have the square root of 27. Now a square number that goes into 27 would be 9. So 9 goes in 3 times, so we have the square root of 9 times 3. Now we split that, the square root of 9 times the square root of 3. The square root of 9 is 3, so we have 3 root 3. Square root of 80. Now a square number that goes into 80 would be 16. 16 goes into 80. Uh, 4 goes into it as well, so um, you could do this in a couple of stages. Uh, so I'll do it. Um, two different ways. So let's split this up. So let's say you spotted 4 first. Now 4 goes into 80 20 times. So we can write this as the square root of 4 times 20. We split that up and write that as the square root of 4 times the square root of 20. Square root of 4 is 2, so this is 2 root 20. But root 20 can itself be simplified, because 4 goes into 20. So we can write this as 2 times the square root of 4 times 5. OK, so it's the example we had up here. So we have 2 times the square root of 4, times the square root of 5. The square root of 4 is just 2, so that's 2 times 2 times 5, which is just 4 root 5. So you could have done it in a couple of steps. Alternatively, if you spot the 16 first, you can write it as 16 times 5, square rooted, split the third, so, square root of 16 times square root of 5. And square root of 16 is just 4. So, 4 root 5. So, perfectly fine to do it either way. It really depends on what you spot first. Right, let's try the square root of 180. Now, 4 goes into 180 as well. So we could do it that way and keep on going through that process. However, um, so you might want to try that out. Uh, you might spot that actually 36 goes into 180 five times. You might spot that, you might not. OK, as I said, if you want to go through this, going through a similar longer process, going through trying four first, um, then you're going to end up trying nine. OK, you can go through that process or you can just do it this way. So we have the square root of 36 times by the square root of five. And the square root of 36 is, of course, six. So this is six root five. So the working that you do with these questions isn't always going to be the same. It really depends on which square number you spot goes into the number under the square root first. Um, some of them you don't really have any choice. There's only one way that you can go through the process. But others, like the square root of 80, there are a couple of routes through that you could try.